Okay, so I'm actually not all that computer savvy, but um, I spent some time, a lot of time, trying to figure this out. And thanks to the internet, lots of different sites pieced together, finally figured out how to put my hurigana over the kanji. Um, and I'm starting off using a Microsoft Word uh, for Mac. And it's a 2011, so now it's right now it's 2021, so quite old. And um, yes, so, and it's on a U.S. computer, so um, an English set, uh, um, word set up for English. Um, so, basically, what you need in order to do the hurigana um, is to um, find this button called the phonetic guide button which is not in my toolbar here and you can customize your toolbar by right clicking here and customize toolbars but if you're in the English setting uh, or the English uh, set word uh, the phonetic guide at least in my case was not there so first I needed to set my language registration for the word which you do by going to the finder and Macintosh HD and over to I think it was applications and the Microsoft uh, Office and then over to additional tools Microsoft language register and click this and then here English and go to Japanese and hit OK uh, let's see. Now I don't think it has changed yet, so I'm gonna close that out. Uh, and actually quit my Word, and then I'll relaunch Word just to make sure it's switched over to the new setting. Okay. And it may have already been, I'm not sure. So let's find out though. Um, now I'll right click here, customize toolbar, and go over to um, commands over here, and then format. and then you scroll down here it's quite a bit a ways down towards the bottom and here it is it's got this A, B, C and A phonetic guide again when I was on the English set word and I would go into the same format area I could not find that um, so uh, that could have just been me, and maybe it is there, but um, I think it is not so. And then you can take this and drag it up here. Boom. And then we're done. Okay. And now, um, let's see, I will type some Japanese. Uh, let's see. We do kanji and then you highlight it and hit the button and then here you can look up how to use this but basically sometimes it, it can actually be wrong um, so um, you can change it here if, if it does get it wrong but in this case kanji it's correct so hit OK and we've got it like this um, yes so um, that is how you go about getting this button onto your word. Hope that helps. It might save some random person who's trying to do this sometime. Um, yeah, good luck.